What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panyuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to give you a quick update on what's going on with the channel and what you can expect in the next few weeks and months to come. So we have been working on two different courses and one of them we just released this week, which is the Jetpack course. You can check out the free YouTube video on the channel, but you can also check out the full course, which is a paid course, of course. You can find the link also in the description. But what's more important is what is going to come. And of course, the Jetpack course is important because we've been working on it really hard and it was something that many people were asking for because it's really just an advanced course for Android developers, which is something that I've rarely done. Like really advanced courses is something I've rarely done, really except for, of course, the ASP.NET course, which after the success of the YouTube video, I'm even thinking of creating another ASP.NET course. So let me know what you think about that. But other than that, we are also working on a WPF course for the C-Sharp audience because I know there are a bunch of people who are not really interested in Android app development. They're more interested in the C-Sharp side of things, including ASP.NET, including WPF, including other topics that C Sharp has to offer, for example, Unity. And that is something that I also wanted to talk to you about. But first about the WPF course. We are going to release it next month. So we're going to upload it onto the channel as well, at least the third, the first third of the course, as we always do. And yeah, you will be blown away. I think it's a, going to be a great course. If you are interested in C Sharp, then WPF is definitely going to be an amazing topic for you. A lot of advanced concepts there as well and it will be great for your development career in general. So then after that, I'm currently searching for a Unity developer to join my team because we have a C Sharp developer right now, we have an Android developer, then we have a marketing person as well. And of course me, the recorder, as well as, well, the face of the company yet. In the future, I want to change that as well, potentially have some other people record for me or with me and then the Unity developer. Well, we're searching for someone and I had a, a quick call with someone yesterday or the day before yesterday. I really liked him and he, well, I gave him a little task as a challenge to see how quickly he can build something. And what he built for me was my first application, actually the first software I ever built. He rebuilt that thing and uh, I built that 2012 for my thesis. Okay, so back then, I did a bachelor's in Constance in Germany, south of Germany. And there I had my thesis at first, which I really didn't like. It was about 4G because I was studying electrical engineering, right, with business. And quick pause. This video is sponsored by your subscription. So just subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. <laughs> it helps out the channel, my whole team, and you will be notified if there is anything new coming up. So also hit that notification bell. Otherwise you will not be notified, but at least it might come up in your feed. So once we upload new videos, you will be notified about that if you hit that notification bell. So really make sure that you do that if you are interested in any of the topics that we're going to bring out. It really helps out the channel. It will help out you as well because you're going to learn a lot of stuff for free. Okay, so thanks a lot. And now let's get back. Man, this was not at all what I was interested in. So after a couple of months, I think two or three months of not working on this bachelor thesis at all, I decided to swap the topic because what I did in that time, I was building this game and I was learning to build apps. I'm going to show you the game in a second, right? I'm not going to show you on the screen, like in a proper manner, because I don't have the, the code and I could, of course, install it on an emulator, but it's fine. I'm going to show you on my phone. So either way, I built that game and I was struggling because I was using like, I don't know, like I wasn't even using an engine. I built it in Android using Java, using like main threads and loops. And I don't know, like super uh, like difficult for me back then because I didn't even understand how to use an array properly. I was really learning. And while I was learning, I created my thesis. And my thesis was about programming. My thesis was about learning to program or teaching to program, actually making a course about programming. So I ended up doing that. I decided to um, not just teach Android, but also Java, because I learned from someone called The New Boston, right? There's this YouTube channel, The New Boston. Maybe you know it. It's super old school. He has barely done anything in the last couple of months. But that guy, he was 
inspirational. I was so inspired by his way of presenting. It was super funny, which I'm not for, uh, not unfortunately, at least I'm, I'm not feeling super confident doing it, even though I, I think I am funny, but not really confident showing it in the courses. I don't know. Would you like to have more funny jokes? Because I really made a, con a, a bunch of jokes in my uh, German courses. So at least the YouTube ones. So what do you think about that? Also, let me know, please, in the comments. So then he inspired me because there were so many great courses, but only available in English. There was nothing good available in German. So I decided to make that course and I decided to make that thesis. And I built up a website, panutorials.de, which is my German website. And yeah, I got an A plus for it. I won a prize for the best thesis. And the only reason I got that was because I loved that project. I just loved it. It was mine. You know, it was not something that somebody else told me because I went to my professor and told him, hey, I'm not at all interested in this topic. Can I please do another topic? And he said, yeah, you have to go to the other professor then. So I did it with the other professor. So um, I finished my, my bachelor thesis project and we yeah, won the prize. I was super happy. And uh, yeah. Then three years later, I started Udemy full-time or courses full-time, which is now something that I've been doing for many years, as you see, like six years almost. And yeah, I'm super hyped uh, showing you what we're going to build as well. So there will be a Unity course in the future for sure. I'm just not sure what, which games it's going to have. So I've built already like 15 different games in my different Unity courses that I've built because I've built already like, I think, three different courses on Unity and each of them had slightly different games. So I think we have like 15 different games, like a, a city builder game, jump and run games, then uh, the asteroid games, really cool ones. Um, 3D games as well, like a shooter is in there. A 2D, 2.5D or 3D jump and run, like Super Mario kind of game. Those kind of things. We had all, all of that built. So let's look at this game because it's my it has been my first game, right? And uh, I've really talked a lot. Uh, telling you this story, but I just wanted to share a little bit about myself and about how I even started with this. And this really just happened because of the new Boston. Shout out to him. Thanks a lot. So anyways, we built this game or he built this game like this uh, candidate built this game for me real quick. It took him one day, but it's really a simple game. And yeah, let me show you. All right, let me try. Actually, I need to find the right angle because I don't even know how it's going to be looking like you probably can't can barely see it because of the light so anyways when you start you have let me put it a little closer like this maybe so yeah you have a, a border and then that border is going to be the color that you need to click on so you have a bunch of gems here or germs i believe is the right term and you have to click on the right color so that you get extra time. So there's a timer running at the top and you get extra time each time you click on the right color. If you click on the wrong color, then you're losing time. So let me restart that real quick. So here, yellow germ, red germ, yellow and so forth. So let me click on the wrong color. Oh, I believe he didn't even implement it. OK, good. So. Actually, he did implement it. It's just losing one second. So we are going to tune around with that. So when you're clicking on the wrong one, it's just going to reduce it by one second. If you're clicking on the right one, you have one second more time. And uh, we're going to build this game, probably also on the YouTube channel. I believe we're just going to upload it on the YouTube channel. I believe it will be quite a funny one. It's, as I said, my it has been my first project that I've ever built. And I think it will be fun to teach because well it's just I, a quite emotional thing and yeah that was the update so i just wanted to let you know we're also going to create a big unity course as i said and this will also be like a th first third will also end up on youtube so you have a say in what is to come and what kind of games we're going to build so let us know in the comments the most liked comments are more likely to get or the games in the most like comments are more likely to get in there and another thing that we're looking forward to doing this year still is going to be a networking app or an online app so to speak a multiplayer game okay so it's going to be a game where you can play with your friends and i thought about among us so creating a course on how to create among us 
But that depends on whether Among Us is going to be still hyped at the time when we're ready to do that, because that will be more likely towards the end of Q3. Okay, it's not going to happen before that. And we're looking forward to making a Kickstarter campaign. So just so you know, there will be a Kickstarter campaign at one point, and it will either be Among Us or whatever this is the hyped game around that time. And we're going to build it, even if it's like a 50 hour course. So it's going to be huge and it's going to be amazing because you're going to learn how to build online games. So yeah, multiplayer games, basically where you play with friends. Okay, and then another one that we're thinking of doing because there are a lot of people asking for it is a Flutter course. Okay, so we're looking into Flutter. I thought about KMM, Kotlin Multiplayer Mobile, but it seems like nobody cares. I thought it would be an interesting topic, but it's just not huge enough. I believe there's not enough demand. And of course, I have to follow demand, even though, of course, I also have to follow my interest and passion because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Okay, so that was quite a long update video. I'm sorry for that. I really like, lost myself in the stories, but just let me know what you think about everything I said here in the comments. I'd be super happy to well understand what it is that interests you and which direction we need to go. But now I will say bye, have a good day and also check out, of course, the links in the description to get the courses as well as now I'm going to get started recording more of the WPF course. All right, see you in the next video.